Welcome back guys. This is Unfinished. I am your host SK Gitonga. Today we're talking about weather and climate change. On to our next question. Do you think the government was prepared for such natural calamities? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Ni kama hatukuwa prepared enough. Tunafuata vitu zingine nyingi nyingi zenye hazitusaidiki maisha sana sana. Kiangalia mambo ya kisiasa mambo mengine yanapata kipo mbele kama wakati ule tuna tuna tunaangalia mambo ya ku crack down on alcohol and illicit brews wanapata government inapatia na nguvu sana wakati huo lakini wakati saa wakati kana kuna calamities kasa hii natural disasters na pia unaweza pata pia kuna kama wale wanyama wanaofanya raiding kule wale bandits wanafanya raiding kule government ipatie ni nguvu sana kwa vitu kama hizo lakini inapata na vifo mbele kwa vitu zingine zenye sana sana na kama zitusaidika wananchi wa, wa i don't think so yeah because at the moment there are uh, a lot of uh, roads in Nairobi which are still affected by floods yeah and they are not yet open or safe to be used i would say yes and no no in the fact that our government's reaction is always uh, reactive they wait for the calamity to happen and then they react and they don't react on a timely basis they can come up to 12 hours later after everything has happened they just come to pick up the pieces yes in the fact that when we saw they are, it seems they learned from their mistake when they saw ama when they were warned that cyclone he dies was was supposed to hit the kenyan coast they reacted very swiftly and positively and although the magnitude is not what was projected but they tried to to avoid a, 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 an impending calamity we saw police officers there we saw KWS and the coast was cleared and that was a plus for them so i would say yes and no knowing the fact that you see what has been happening 200 lives is a lot that is a lot over 200,000 households that is a lot they should have told us you know the rains are coming let us move to higher grounds you know instead of giving us 48 hours ultimatum to move they should have given us two weeks they should have told us in in march we are projecting this kind of rains let us move to higher ground so that we save lives and even farmlands i really didn't like what happened i don't know around maima hill that was a very huge menace it wasn't supposed to happen for now i think bado watu ko ready maybe after three two years if and they know that we are ready uh, but for now bado government haiko najua kama mfu itakuja kunyesha namna hii ya haiku inajua mfu itakuwa kama floods kila mtu alikuwa tu anatengemea ni mfua tu kama ile ya seasons zingine normal no i don't think it was prepared i saw some lady online talking about boats i don't know whether you've seen her so i don't think it was pre- they were prepared because i haven't seen any activity by the government it's just the sympathy activities like the gashago was in my mahio but i haven't seen a deliberate move from the government that has improved our status it's just the information and the acts of mercy so i think they should do something next time if it has got you i don't know god wanted you there so if god wants out of few they are alive he will get off to few they are alive right our government is never prepared we live day by day eh? so when the sun rises tomorrow they'll enjoy the sunshine eh? when it is cloudy tomorrow huh? they'll go with the clouds eh? so our government is never prepared for any disaster Yes. Because we have got departments, eh? government departments handling disaster for, at the national government and at the county level, but none is ever prepared. So once a calamity strikes, eh, is when now they come from their from the holes where they have been, where they were hiding. So the government is never prepared about disaster. Ah, you are quite ready. Ju mvua maybe and like if it look on expect mvua kwanza around mwezi wa 4. Uko kwetu western but to make the matter worse mvua iliendelea kunyesha continuously since december up to day but in so government i pre prepared na hii kitu kama flood in the same tuna the first season ya corona hawezi kuwa prepared kwa majanga kama hiyo so ni kitu nakuja to abruptly so hata government kujipanga ina fa take long so ndio itusaidie na government is organize the inaza zuya mvua kunyesha mvua hiyo ikianza imeanza hakuna other way 
kitenya government yetu kutufa kutuambia flood inazidi tuji prevent hivi hivi kutoa tu njia zetu ni zaji prevent si wenyewe but ilifika kila kwa bomu ikitwambia tufanye hivi hivi so nikupata tu some a bit of information ya inakuwa updated kwa media then tunaifuata i don't think so ju venye nimekuwa nikiona tiktok mimi mso wa tiktok nilikuwa nikipota tiktok sana but you see watu watu wa complain about floods mimi siona response yote from the government the side ya government sijaona bado so i think hawako ameji prepare vizuri ah uh, no but i feel like they were supposed to be prepared because they have been they are part of the met department and they have been hearing this these rains coming i feel like last year they had said there are some boats that are going to be in nairobi because of the el nino that was apparent last year no i don't know kama nakumbuka kulikuwa na fako na elino last year it didn't happen but i expected those boats is because of fako sai tunaziona where the boats so i don't think the government was well equipped they need to tell us what happened we need more explanation on what happened yeah maybe last year yes since they said the floods will be last year but coming this year it was quite a surprise to everyone so nope they were not prepared i think government is prepared you ata si tunaona eh kama hiyo case ni happen pale mai mai tuliona after hiyo nini ime happen walijituma walianda huko yeah walianda kusaidia huko yeah pia nimesikia there's so school which are affected by rain and they are going to to finance them i'm not sure I can't say they are ready or not but uh, uh I can say to some extent they may not be ready because uh, uh people have been dying and uh, uh warnings were given after death toll had reached a, a higher level with which I can say the government is not that prepared Personally I don't think they were ready but I feel like they can still fix the situation by building uh, more and better drainage systems. Another thing is they could make a department that specifically takes care of natural calamities and also um they should be swift and quick enough to act on such so that we don't have a lot of lives lost and a lot of property wasted. On to our last question, how do you conserve your environment? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 and finished. Of course to keep planting trees that is one uh, it helps with carbon control and avoid littering um, I, I avoid having plastics and stuff on the road uh, I measures like water make sure you're conserving water like now you, they uh, the, now that is raining we, we could have had things that are harvesting water I'm doing that at a personal level I I'm a person I'm a person who likes uh doing recycling i do recycle and i am i'm, I'm really a proponent uh, of of recycling if i'm giving the power for example to be the president <laughs> i believe in zambia to fanya a lot of recycling because this is this is the only way that we can save our planet kiangalia sana kuambia nema ikwambia watu wasi maybe plastic paper bags i don't believe that is the answer to this to this problem answer na za sema ni bring new ways of telling people in their minds wase waelewe njia kuwa atakufanya so recycling is way better for the environment ndo tunaweza pia kuangalia watu wake dust bins everywhere such a way that unaweza aika kama ni bottle 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 ya nini ya glass unaika kwa section ya glass if it's a metal unaika kwa section ya metal if it's organic waste unaika kwa organic and if it's plastic unaika kwa plastic such a way that inaikuwa ni an ecosystem tunatengeneza ili tunafanya recycling si lazima waambie watu wasitumie plastics watu wanazotumia plastics but ikifika ni recycling hatujaeka nguvu kwa hiyo part ndo napata tunapata tunafanya vitu kama burning of plastics and stuff like that but zitenyeze zikifanya recycling si mbaya sasa hapo kwa environment ikwe safi uh, kama Nairobi venye iko saa hii naweza sema kuna watu wengi wenye wajali tu huku nje tu but mostly si hapa town ndani ni huku tu kando kando unapata tu watu watu wana wanaachilia tu vitu takataka tu huko kwa njia bure bure tu but uh, si kitu mzuri na chafua tu environment 
unapata places zingine place ilikuwa safi tuseme hapo nyuma alafu sasa saa hii ukipitia hapo unapata inakaa vibaya ya sasa kama saa hii nimepitia mahali pengine nilikuwa nimeacha kulikuwa kusafi lakini saa hii watu wamechafua environment wanarusha tu vitu takataka na mtu anjali venye e, e anajijali mwenyewe lakini ajali watu wenye wakikuja hapo watakuwa aje by planting trees yeah especially at this rainy season yeah plenty of rains is ideal for growth of trees i actually don't dump plastics anyhow I don't well I would I wouldn't say that I don't use fossil fuel I would be lying because I do use the PSVs each and every day but I try as much as I can actually I do well while I was in school I, I had a, a, fund, a, a drive that was aiming to plant 20,000 trees by the end of this year that was in my my campus back in Kakamega so if that goes on I believe I'll be making a change in uh, <coughs> ensuring reforestation and I do believe that uh the bullet the, the silver bullet against climate change is a reforestation Re, reclaiming not refor reclaiming reclamation of land we can't we need to 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 know what is supposed to be there and plant what is supposed to be there you know we can't take eucalyptus and plant it on repair and land and expect it to be there eucalyptus sucks a lot of water to make that place arid we can't take acacia and take it to kakamega would be creating another big mess so i do believe that if we do re reclamation what was there we, we, we reclaim what was there that is a silver bullet and i do I, i believe i take part in that a lot i do sorry for that i do create awareness a lot about climate change and about environmental conservation and i do avoid dumping plastics and i would really love to give a plus on this boy on tiktok the, the bro who cleans is doing a good job tumianga maji poa ewe si si haribu maji environment personally i conserve by so not littering around uh, anyhow because uh, are, those are some of the things that contribute to the environmental uh, uh, deterioration whereby you find the uh, litters are just uh, dropped anywhere so you find most of the parts blocked and uh, all that are a result of the poor management of uh, litters here yeah. yeah just clean it if you feel like if your energy feels like cleaning just clean it if it doesn't feel like god is god doesn't want you to touch us so leave it i have to plant trees so and maybe flowers and uh, i have to make sure that hakuna kumwaga mwanga maji hapo nje i don't litter i ensure that i keep my place clean uh yeah i feel like i feel like if we actually get rid of littering and like pull, like throwing things away i think we'll actually do so much people don't see how much littering actually contributes to the like degradation of the environment and i feel like if you just do that one thing that is stop littering stop polluting the environment like stop burning stuff stop kama nitakataka acha kutupa kwa barabara acha kuchoma vitu kwa barabara stop that everything will be better kitia man can conserve environment then you have ka like sai venye tuko na flood sivi kila time bwa kunyesha so sai magonjwa kodi sana na zapata na magonjwa kama vile malaria mbo ameja sana kila mali so sasa hii nafaa tu consider sana kwa usafi kama kuna nyasi karibu kufieka hizi matakataka zaji zina zina affect maji kusimama na cause floods kama unaezoa karibu na unaishi ni vizuri sana na viondoa so that maji kitoka huko kwenye mbinyanthia ikuwe able kupita isimame karibu na penyuko eco friendly mostly tutumie tu vitu zenye zinakaa biodegradable by not littering uh, the environment I'm around in some casa in and modcom institute uh, of technology so like that place kuna kwa na dustbins you see so could drop litters around and all those stuff in my village there are places where when I was growing up there were community lands where people were grazing right now 
people have taken over those places eh? because they were the ones their families were bordering the the river the the river basin eh? so they'll say that they, those are their lands yet these are community lands uh, we have tried by taking these matters to public barazas the chief's offices eh? so that these areas they are they are preserved eh? for continue for future generations but they are adamant yes so that is one way of doing my my in, in, uh, of taking place in the conservation eh? by raising issues in the public barazas number two i've been planting trees number three i've been opening trenches so that when the flood when it rains the floods can get their way through Personally, some of the things I would do to conserve the environment, first one would be, um, I take part in the National Tree Planting Day. Secondly, I make sure I do not litter. If you know me personally, you know if I buy something in town and I do not find like a nearby litter place, I'm literally going to carry it to my place. And then thirdly, I would encourage us to volunteer in the cleanup services in the community we have come to the end of the show guys thank you for watching shout out to everyone at home uh, my family my mom uh, my show isabella uh, shout out to lydia wahoo ngina and brenda everybody else who's made this possible and also shout out to the guys in the comment sections in mcquire you are cheeky i've been liking your comments guys let's keep up that pace see you next time guys adios